Bismillah. Welcome back. <coughs> so in this, we again have another example from the Khan Academy, and um, basically the question is Kylie, if I'm pronouncing that right, Kylie sent a chain letter to her friends, asking them to forward the letter to more friends. Now the relationship between the elapsed time t in hours, so t is in hours, since Kylie sent the letter and the number of people n of t who received the email is modeled by the following function. So p of t is equal to 1.09 raised to the power 60 plus 25.5. So now we want to to answer this question. Every hour there is a um, uh, such and such percent addition to or decrease in the number of people who receive the email. So in order to answer this question, we need to We need to first take a look at the function. So the function is p of t is equal to 1.09 raised to the power 60 plus 25.5. So, and the question tells me, asks me every hour what's happening to these people. Is it, is it increasing or decreasing and what percentage that is? So the percentage is related to the to the uh, current to to the to this I don't remember that name to this um, common ratio of the of of the function because for example let's say you have a function any I'm not talking about this function right now. So let's say you have a t and f of t and let's say when t is equal to 0 your f of t is equal to 70 and then you have when t is equal to 1 then you, ha you multiply this by 70 times times let's say 2 thirds and then when it is 2 again 70 times 2 thirds so that the previous output times another two thirds, when it is three, you have seventy times two thirds times two thirds. What I have, what I had here, times another two thirds, and the same thing happens here again and again. So here, what's happening here is that the output of the function is every time you increment your t you are multiplying the output by a factor of two-thirds. So multiplying the output by a factor of two-thirds means, I suppose, two-thirds is nothing but 0 0.666, uh, approximately 66%. So two-thirds is approximately 0 0.66, rounding to two decimal places. So, and this is equal to, of course, 66 percent or 66 by, 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 by 100, which is equal to 66 percent. So, when I'm taking 66 percent of, of 70, uh, that means I'm actually calculating 66 percent of 70. That means 70, 66 percent of 70, of 70 is remaining and then 34 percent of 70 is 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 being lost so 66 that means that means 66 percent of 70 here left and 34 percent of 70 is lost and basically 66 plus 34 is equal to 100 so it's basically 100 per percent so um, so basically when you say 
this person this 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 part of the question so is related to your common ratio here which which is in this function is is basically nothing this number which has been raised to some power and because the question is asking every hour i need to be able to i need to be able to have this function in some other form so that i can answer this question what I mean is, what I mean is, if um, for now, right now, if I try to answer this question with the current form of this function as it is, I could not because right now I have a t here and if p of t, when my t is equal to zero, my my p of t is is basically um, my p of t is basically one point zero nine raised to the power twenty five point five. But when t is equal to one, let's say incrementing just by one, my p of t is equal to six into one which is six plus twenty five point five which is thirty one point five so one point oh nine raised to the power thirty thirty what was that sixty which is six times one which is six so thirty one point five so you can see that by incrementing just once just 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 incrementing t just by one you are you're not it's not like you're you had 1.09 and then you um, and then you it's not like you had this t and p of t normally it has to be like this that you have your t for example 0 your p of t is equal to 1.09 raised to the power for example 25 and then when your t is equal to 1 normally it has to be 1.09 raised to the power 26 that means this output times another factor of 1.09 so if if it was like this then i could then i could know basically what's happening every hour to this function but because now in this function with every let's say with every hour that i'm incrementing my time more and more factors of the all of a sudden for example six factors are being six more factors are being being multiplied by the output of the function and that's because uh, basically this index is not the variable only the variable it has some it's a, it's an expression so basically the variable has to be the, the the index has to be only the variable so that you you could answer that question so i i don't think i explained that well what i meant to say was that what i meant to say was that if this function was let's say p of t is equal to some number for example 1.09 raised to the power t then i would know i would know for example what happens what happens here here then i would have the t and the p of t and when t when t was one when t was zero then my output would be one if t was let's say one it would be 1.09 when t was two it would be 1.09 raised to the second power times 1.09 and so on and so forth but with this type of the with this this is basically all related to this example but with this form of the function now i have t here and p of t here when my t is equal to zero my output is basically 1.09 raised to the power 25.5 
but when I make one addition to my to my t when when I increment it by one this one goes into this expression and it and it increases the whole index by I don't know by six basically one incrementation here leads to six incrementations here in the main index so this way I'm just I, I cannot keep track of things I don't know how many incrementations I have to make here so that one incrementation is is resulted is is resulted here so that I know what's going on in my function because of this I need to make some changes to this function so that I have only the index I mean only in the index in the having only the variable not a, not an expression I don't think again I explained that very well but that's the best I could do. I hope you understood it. So, so in order to do that, what I need to do is, I need to, I do need to make some changes to this whole equation so that I have only t as the index. So what I can do is I can write this as, oh, let me see. I can write this as if you have a raised to the power b plus c, we can write this as a raised to the power b times a raised to the power c. So you can basically break this up. So based on this, here I have a raised to the power b plus c and here I have this a raised to the power this b plus this c. So 1.09 raised to the power um, 60, 60 times 1.09 raised to the power 25.5. And now things are very simple. So now I can write this as now this becomes my starting value or your my initial value i rewrite this as 1.09 raised to the power 25.5 and i multiply this by 1.09 raised to the power 60 not six not 60 but 60. so what i can do now a raised to the power b times c is equal to could be written as a times b a i'm sorry a raised to the power b whole raised to the power c you already know this so now i have this part i can this is my a this is this six is b and this t is c so i can rewrite it like this so I write this as 1.09 raised to the power 25.5 and I multiply it by 1.09 raised to the power 6 whole raised to the power t. So now I have in the index I have only my variable. So I can now um, calculate what 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 uh, basically 1.1.09 is raised to the power 6 1.09 raised to the power 6 is raised to the power 6 is well i round everything to 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 two decimal places let me do that so if you round everything to do to two decimal places which is not a good idea because um basically in the middle of calculation you don't round things off this example is not getting me anywhere so i just rounded off everything to two decimal places but that's not a good idea because sometimes for example you're doing some actually an actual problem this is just for understanding the concept but sometimes you're you're doing some actual problem and in the middle of the, the 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 calculation it's always a good idea 
when when you have for example 1.09 raised to the power 25.5 you will get a number like 9.00276015 or something like that and it it just keeps going on this much my calculator can show all the other digits are just somehow chopped off i can only see this much on this on this on the on the screen so what i need to do here on my calculator i can see the numbers over here i don't care about the actual number i just save it to the memory and then i whenever i want to use that number in the in the rest of the calculation or in the rest of the process i just recall that number from the memory and then put it in other places in the calculation so that's basically uh, but I, I i i'm sure you know that already from physics prob probably um so so now what my what our problem was was that every hour there is a this much percentage addition to or decreasing the number of people who receive the email so basically now your function has a starting value it has a starting value which is 9 and it is multiplied by 1.67 so because it is multiplied by 1.67 it means that the it means that this 9 is with every incrementation of t this number the output of the function is being increased by 67 percent so so basically it is an increase or addition to so this part is right and also the incrementation is 67 percent because because let me explain this to you so you have basically this t and p of t so when your t is equal to zero your p of t is equal to nine when your t is equal to one your p of t becomes nine point i'm sorry nine times one point six seven when it is two it is 9 times 1.67 times 1.67 and so on and so forth so what is what happens when you when you multiply a number by any number by 1.67 you're increasing that number by 67 percent so if you have 9 and you add uh, 67 percent of 9 to 9 so 9 times 67 percent this becomes 9 you take a 9 out and then you have um, 1 plus 67 by 100 and then it is nothing but you can rewrite this as 100 by 100 and then this becomes 167 by 100 so 9 times 167 by 100 and this is nothing but 1.67 so this whole thing becomes 9 times 1.67 and that's basically the same thing that we have written here so based on that it's an increase of 67 percent and so the, the answer is 67% addition. Thank you.